Learning Vietnamese app. Let's talk about this. The thing is, there are a lot of apps out there that can help you learn the language, but I don't believe it's helping. It's hurting more than it's helping. Especially when you're starting out. Let me give you an example. If you start out, you will start with Duolingo and you will start practicing and they keep pushing you to use the app every day so you can keep learning. But the problem is there is no learning process. You just get tested every time, every time, every time. But it's never a learning process. For example, uh, these are the words, learn them and then you will get tested. You don't have that there. And that's a shame. And uh, the thing is, when I start using it, it was fun, it, basic, but after that it would get difficult, but it's getting irritating, so it's not fun to learn. And there's another app, it's called um, Nemo Vietnamese, and that one is all fun to learn, but the thing is keeping up doing it every day, that's difficult, and um, the thing is something is you have to buy an app, the other part of the link is it for free, so um, yeah. Thing is, let's look at the app so you can see what I'm talking about. So, if you look at um, Duolingo, you need to look at the um, go on my phone. So, I'm going to show you what it is on Duolingo. So, um, this is Duolingo. If you open it, and you just, as you can see, eh, I did some of them. It's fun, but uh, after a while, it will get difficult, and sometimes you don't have a process where you can learn. That's a bit shit. We assume you know everything. And it's just about the practicing every day. I think they are using this so you can start using the app every day. So, yeah, you're using it so they can show all oh, people are using it, but it's not helping you with learning. So, that's that I found bad about um, Duolingo. I'm not saying it bad. it's bad for you, it's for you to decide, but that's it. So, this is Duolingo, and as, as you can see, I found it difficult to use it to learn it. And I think most people find it also difficult because they are missing something where they can practice. And that's what you have here. You start with basic alphabet possession. It's all fun, but after a while it's getting irritating because the will be like, hey, you have to practice today. Hey, you have to practice today. Hey, you have to practice today. It's not fun. So I don't think this is a good way to start. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's a good app to help you practice if you know a lot. But as a beginner, for me, it's not working. So. That's about Duolingo, and the thing is, there's also another one, Nemo uh, Vietnamese. So you can see the app here. Um, it's okay app, and uh, it can help you with words. Thing is, it doesn't have um, you don't have an image what it is, and that's the advantage of Duolingo. There you have an image what it is and that you can use. As you can see, this is the app. I really like this one because it helps you with the basic conversation. And um, you can plan everything in. So how many words you can practice today, or uh, how, how many words you want to learn, and how to pronounce it, and what it is. So keep repeating. I think this way of learning is much better than the Duolingo. The Duolingo sounds fun, but it isn't. It's keep pressing and it's not fun to learn. So that's uh, about the Vietnamese app. There are a lot of out there. I think those two, I just I will talk I will only talk about those two, and I think Nemo Vietnamese is much better than Duolingo, especially at the beginning. You can start with the basic conversation, basic uh, things. If you practice every day, you will start learning it. But Duolingo, if you know a lot, you can use it to keep remembering how everything works. So, for example, if I know a language and I know how to write it, I have a certain kind of basic skill. I can use Duolingo to keep developing language. But starting out, no. Not uh, not going to happen for me. Maybe for you. Never know. Okay. Um, yeah. If you have questions about learning Vietnamese of my experience, let me know. Just currently, I'm using this app right now. I'm not promoting them. I'm not affiliated. I'm not in any way connected with them. So don't worry about that. I'm just saying what works for me. Maybe it works for you. And that's it. If you have questions about this, feel free to uh, comment. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.